Hey everyone. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, sorry, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Uh, I did a little grinding off screen just because there's a lot of fluff in this game. Uh, that also means that there's a little of Talion and, and Calabrimbi uh, going back and forth that we haven't heard. Uh, I have not killed any war chiefs, but we've got some of Sauron's army to go through. Uh, I've killed uh, quite a few, in fact. These guys are dueling, and like one of them will get stronger, sure. Probably the one that's nine. What's your name? Pu Pugrish Barrel Scraper. But uh, I feel like I should go through these fellas, the big guys, you know? Uh, I got more runes. Uh, I got another tier of these. Because to actually unlock these, you need to rank up in power. Uh, and we got these. So I have Critical Strike. Another chance, uh, uh, the chance to kill someone in a finisher. Which is so cool. I can poison them, which we got last time. I can throw a dagger. It's the same input for a Batarang and Arkham. Uh, instead of stealth killing, I can just really go to town on a motherfucker. <laughs> uh... And then the teleport we earned, and then I can shoot a leg to keep someone there. This we earned, and I can drain from stealth. And then I got a lot more health, a little more focus, a little more arrows, and the rune slots. And this is where we're sitting. So let's uh, let's go take a take a look and see what we can see. Eh? I decided to at least do one war chief on screen. You guys know Professor Tolkien hated the Beatles? Which is just yet another based opinion that he held. Like, in addition to hating Nazis with every fiber of his being, there's this awesome letter. For those who don't know, uh, back in the day, you didn't have emails. So the only way you had to talk to your friends if they weren't in front of you was a letter. And Tolkien, being such a writer, wrote like hundreds and hundreds of letters. And sometimes he would write them to fans or friends who were like, Hey, so what would happen if Frodo did this? And he'd be like, well, it's funny you asked. Because of course I've thought about it, you know? And so... We get a lot of, like, lore that way. Rukdug the Duelist. Kill the Uruks with lightning speed to draw the war chief's thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got it we got his goo. Uh, he's afraid of burning and he takes bonus damage from combat finishers and he's immune to like everything. Goddamn. Moose glob. Rut row. Did you hear that, one of them says? That guy's ringing the bell, so I gotta stop him. So yeah, that's where some of the uh, like lore comes from. Tolkien's letters. Oh, Rukdug has arrived. So I don't know if you can hear that, but every orc has like a name, like a like a file in the game files, and they chant that, and that's so radical. Uh oh, I'm dry. Oh, that ain't good. 
I send me out here with the likes of you running around, eh? You are nothing but trouble. Oh, that's such a gross sound, my man. And you, of course. Well, that ain't good. So, using that gem that I've got, I can put a thing in my thing, power up my sword, and just do takedown after takedown after takedown. Yeah, there's one down. Oh, and his helmet goes flying. That's gnarly. But anyway, there were some letters that uh, Tolkien was writing, and he talked about how much he despised the Beatles, which is so valid, my man. Like, I don't even like the Beatles' music, and maybe I'm just contrarian, because of course I am, you know? I'm a hipster, I'll admit it. Oh! I love doing that to end a battle, even if there's no one around, just because I want to vent it, you know? I want to vent my power. But yeah, he described uh, the sound that the Beatles makes. The Beatles make as indescribable. And like, that man has more command over languages than most people have over their own. And he knew like 40 languages. Part of that was because he invented half of them, but that shouldn't like downplay the fact that he knew that many. And like, God, he spoke English like he invented it. All right. It's a couple down and a... Wow. We've been going for like five minutes after my like startup. Can I have some... Thank you. I just need a little... Thank you. Little more. That would be. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's. Let's go do some more then, huh? Let's do this one and warp here. Kind of wish there was a little more fast travel points, but that's okay. Oh yeah, my nails match my shirt. My nails were already this color. I just happened to put on a shirt that looks like that. You may have seen me wear it in other videos, but I assure you I've watched it since then. So this is Brutalize. And as you can see, that counts as a combo, and it can scare orcs around you. Uh, so if you, if you are going to get spotted now, instead of stealth killing just to take a guy out, take a guy out, and... What's going on here then, guys? Yeah, like, I'm gonna get spotted. I guess not, then. So I may as well do that. So let's show off this, then. In addition to uh, showing off that we can free Karagors. There we go. Uh, we can ride them with a little mini game. As I mentioned last time, Karagors are just... Oh, that's so rad. Karagors are essentially a, like, wolf equivalent to, uh, or a cat equivalent to wargs. Like, in the same way that orcs are just, like, evil corrupted elves and men, and wargs are evil corrupted wolves, Karagors are that for big cats. I don't know why they aren't just wargs, because, like, I like riding wargs. Wargs are cool. But you can see that he even maintains our level of, like, our command over him after that. 
Anyway, yeah, I don't know if this makes me a hipster just because I hate the Beatles, but like, I do hate the Beatles. But it's not just of their bad music, it's because like, John Lennon beat his kids, and like, was a racist, and beat his wife, and hated his band members. Look, if I get drawn into fandom, like, drama, I feel like I can handle fighting with Beatles fans. Flames bring them off. Burn his soldiers and the war chief would emerge. There's so much good quoting in this game. I do like this game's use of Elvish. Like, I legitimately thought about, like, because I have this. I have this tattoo that says Elf Prince. And I was legitimately thinking, like, when I was, when I was going over what I was going to get tattooed. I was, like, honestly considering getting Naniki Gelar Mordor, which is uh, one of the things that our man says, Caleb Rimbor. There are so many, like, Caleb Rimbor, for whatever reason, like, so many people think it's very hard to pronounce. And so there are so many jokes. Like, in the uh, completionist video about this game, he just calls him Celery. In the Two Best Friends Play video about this, which is actually three of them because it features Liam. Uh, Liam keeps switching whatever his name is. And like, at one point he goes from like... Alright. Did that count? Okay, cool, it did. Me lovely grog, he says. Not a lot of stealth in that we can do, you know? Let's draw some guys over here then, huh? But yeah, like they start with Kella Brimbor and then they go, and then like Liam goes to like. I forget what he even says. It's like. Kalid Dingdor. And then, and then they go to like. Uh, Kellogg's Booberry. And so, like, this whole time I've just been thinking about calling him Kellogg's Booberry. Because that's such a funny bit to me. And then, and then later, like, it just keeps getting worse and worse and it goes all the way to calling him, uh, Dunkin' Donuts Big Box, no matter how little sense that actually makes. I love that. Honestly, I actually, like, love that. Pardon me, sir. Can I... Thank you. Cracker on the brown. Oh yeah, I've run away from this guy a few times, so he thinks I'm a coward. That's gonna make it a problem, though. I hate war chiefs with a bow. Give me a little time here, fellas, huh? So this is a thing that I kind of like in this. Whoops! Wrong input. Can I... I just want to get out of here, fellas. If that's alright. Well, that ain't good. Say so we can just kill a guy like that. You'll pay for this. I'll kill you next time, you filth. Oh, should we go after him? I ask going after him. Where's he at? 
There you are. Man, he's huffing. Did you get caught by Karagor? It was a right good battle I saw. I was hoping to see what kind of delights is that sort of You may be able to hear the orcs uh, singing my praises and talking about my, my power. Which is another amazing mechanic that I like. There's so much good in this game. There we go. We got it. Okay. Sometimes you gotta you gotta rush that, but I think we have. See, I don't want to get intel on a guy who I can like see, and like I don't even know who this guy is. So I'm gonna pop my intel on him. That's usually what I like doing. So this is a rank nine guy at the very bottom of the ladder, and like at the very top of the ladder, right under the war chiefs, is a rank nine guy. So that dude is almost definitely gonna advance in the ranks. Yeah, that's the thing, because if you kill all of the people who are, like, who, like, if you kill everyone who sucks, then, like, more people will eventually replace them, and you'll get better war chiefs, you know? Knocking people over a ledge will kill them really quickly. If you do a little bit of the hold, you can, uh, you can get a guy to, pardon me, fellas. I need more, like, grog barrels. I need to be able to, like, burn these fools. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's really funny. I love that so much. Oh, here we go. But I don't have any... Damn. Maybe I can climb? I think... Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of yellow, so... They, they're starting to forget where I am. Weren't able to track me. Here we go, elf shot. Just what I needed. All right, one less problem. If he comes back, those are haha. -ha. I saw a lot more people complaining about, um, like, the, the quotes and references in this game than I did in a... than you would for, like, another game of this type. And I feel like that's, like, a, a point of difference between, like, for example, Star Wars... Oh, yeah. I feel like that's kind of a point of difference between, like, a Star Wars game and, like, a Middle-Earth game. Because I feel like some people almost expect... Oh, great, he's got a... You've been burning up my boys. I'm not gonna have any of that truck. Time to die! He's immune, isn't he? No, he's not. Not being able to mantle over uh, uh, a war chief is going to be a problem because I I usually like mantling over shieldmen. But let's just see if we can build a combo here. What was that? Yeah, it's, uh, this isn't going very well. Oh, 
Yeah, let's see if we can get some guys away. That wasn't who I wanted to hit. But yeah, like, I wanted to, uh... Like, think about this a little more off-screen, but, like... I feel like in a Star Wars game, people almost expect those things, you know? Like, they expect somebody to be like... Ooh, I've got a bad feeling about this, you know? And maybe it's just Star Wars fans. But, um... I feel like there aren't people who, like, seek that sort of thing. Fuck. That ain't good. I feel like there aren't really people who seek that sort of thing. That, uh, in, uh, like, Lord of the Rings. So this is a proper death. So he's just a, a power one orc. And now that he's killed me, he moves up. And Asgrom the Painted survived my thing. So I gotta do that. I didn't go around and kill these guys at their things, so they rank up. But this is good, because one of them will die. Oh! Well, that's kind of good then. But yeah, you can see that almost all of these are relatively the same so um if i end up not doing all of these in one episode i'll come back and do them in a different one so yeah very much like pieces on a game board so these guys are still staying dead i see but yeah minor spoilers but these fools can actually just straight up come back from the dead. What are these towers of silver? They are lights to guide us in the land of shadow, where all other lights may fail. Pale reflections of the light of the two trees and memories of a lost kingdom. Yeah, like, in Star Wars, I feel like people almost want to hear, like, generic lines that they remember from the movie. Like, they want to hear, it's a trap. They want to hear, I've got a bad feeling about this. They expect that. But, like, maybe it's just because Lord of the Rings has such a command over English, because... Like, Tolkien might be my favorite writer ever, so sorry if I'm uh, out here simping too hard. But, like, damn, he's got good, good good writing, you know? Oh, those berserkers? Hello. Uh, did you not? This could be trouble, actually. Oh, interesting. C can still drain him. And he really doesn't like it, either. Yeah, I really don't want to just, like, go into sicko mode and abuse my ability to just, like, madly, like, decapitate everyone. Especially not on just a generic captain. I got, like, ping pong there. That was nuts.
He was like, I ain't alone, you swine. And I was like, oh yeah, I just, oh, uh, I see that I was in fact the wrong one. My apologies, sir. Yeah, I really want. Uh, the thing is, is that I wanna, I wanna keep the story mode going. Well, that wasn't right at all. Oh, I could grab him, but I need to clear all these fools out first. How about this? Does that does that do anything for you? That's so cool, by the way. I love that. When you double counter, the wraith comes out of you. Celebrimbor pops out to take the hit. That's so radical. All right, my big problem is is now done. So. I can basically just work my way through these guys, right? Oh, gnarly. So let's see what we got here then. All right, but yeah, this is this is this episode is primarily here just for me to show off. Like, this is what these are like. You know, they they give you something, they give you a little something to do, and they're like, "Hey, figure it out." You know, it's kind of a puzzle. It's kind of its own like mission, but they usually take a pretty similar and somewhat simple form. Um. They're kind of reminiscent of like a Radiant quest from Skyrim, you know? Where it's like, they'll give you a new guy and he'll have a new name. And there will be a technically new area. Th like, there'll be a new area to go to. And, you know, you'll have new stuff to do there. But ultimately, it, it will be similar to the other quest. You know, that's what it's most like to me. So you don't need to just, you don't need to shoot these. You can also just cut them. And it does uh, start a combo, so you can use that for good stuff. No, I'm not. What is this? He believes he draws us into a trap. Let us not disappoint him. That's always been my favorite way to think of it, to do something. Like, why bother trying to preempt a trap? Kuga, Kuga, Mad Eye. Yeah. Oh, that ain't good. Not to mention he's immune to stealth. The thought of orcs being deployed is like for whatever reason fascinating to me like of course they would be deployed they they're in an army you know and yet like it's such a hu it's so like human of them to complain about the like the shitty area where they're deployed in and like they almost don't know any better because it's just like it's their job you know but like man like I know I gotta kill them but it's also, like, bad to feel sorry for an orc, especially if you gotta kill him, but, like, I understand it. I, I, I understand the, the problem that they have, you know? I get that part completely. So if I wanted to... Oh, and I should have. If I wanted to, I could go through and kill all of their bodyguards or captain assistants. Man swine. Man swine. You fell for my trap. 
the Urux mind will always triumph. So you can hear, even in that accent, they still say Urux, they roll it, you know? Last time you almost killed me, but you didn't press home your advantage. So yeah, I, I, I'll take advantage for sure. I did a lot of, I did a lot of work on this guy, but he ultimately just got away. Let's just deal with you, you know? Let's get you out of this fight. I can deal with Biggie and Smalls here, no problem. Together again, man thing. When the time is right. This is your second retreat now. Look, if his bodyguard's gonna run away, I'll take that. Is that Mung Doll? Oh, gnarly, man. No wonder it was so easy. He was only like rank 12. All right. I'll do this one because I'm right here. I'll try this one at least. Oh yeah, I've got a new rank of power as well. Actually, I can do this off screen. This is just going to be like another one of the missions where I'm just like, hey, do this thing. So I really wanted this one. Stun dudes when you vault over them. Yeah, I want this as well. I need the ability to, to rank up and uh, to, to regain my stuff in battle. So I should actually cut this because I've been doing pretty good. And I don't want to I don't want to ruin it. Uh, but this has been a good episode. Uh, on the topic, please go read Tolkien's letters. They're all pretty fun. Uh, and like just just side by side, a letter where Tolkien talks about Hitler versus a letter where H.P. Lovecraft talks about Hitler. Like, Tolkien talks about Hitler, and he's like, I dare say this boy will make me a better warrior at uh, 40 than I was at 20. Because if you don't know, Tolkien fought in World War I and did not fight in World War II, but he helped. Uh, and, like, the way that Hitler appropriated Nordic culture, like, really, really made him mad. And, like, I get it, man. You still can't put a swastika on things. There's this old-ass cool painting of Thor, but he's got a swastika on his belt. And Hitler was like, yeah, we like that. And it's like, no, Hitler, you shouldn't. Fuck you, Hitler. I'll come out and say it, you know? I'm not a fan of Nazis. I think they suck. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. I've been Alfred. This has been Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Please play this game. It's very fun. Uh, because of all the different things that can happen, I recommend everyone do their own playthrough. Just because you will make your own nemeses and it'll be a problem for you in its own way. Like, my first playthrough, my big problem was guys with bows, you know? Or spear throwers. And like, Every captain was one because they kept killing me and it kept being a problem. And now it looks like shield guys are, are, are like the problem. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you for coming. I hope you had a good time. I did. Bye.